Stephanie Lee. I'm a first year college student from JH Cerulean State College Pangalian Campus. Yes, ito yung unang video na napanood ko about COVID-19. Noong mga panahon na to, hindi ko siya sineryoso. Hindi ko man lang talaga tinapos yung video. Kasi who would expect, di ba, na magiging ganito kalala yung sitwasyon. Billions of people are affected. Unable to visit one another, to go to work, to attend school, or meet in public places. People worldwide are in dire straits, struggling at home, in nursing homes, and intensive care units, dying of the same cause. Isolated from their loved ones in their moments of greatest need. We naturally want to be close to our family and friends during times of unimaginable distress, to hold them and hug them. But we are now forbidden to do so, as any act of physical touch, any gesture of physical, loving, kindness, and compassion could result to illness and death. Hindi ako makapaniwala na nagsimula siya from mystery illness sa Wuhan and then naging COVID-19 naging pandemic siya hindi ako makapaniwala na ganun lang kadali para ma-change yung buhay ng tao We are faced with the absolute instability and weakness of human life how much have so many of us assumed that we were supreme masters of our environment? How much have we denied our weaknesses by claiming that we are in charge of our destinies? The COVID-19 pandemic demonstrates how mistaken we were. Only God knows what will happen to us. And I truly believe all of this has a reason. We are confronted with the most fundamental questions in our existence. Ano ang ginagawa natin dito? What have we accomplished in our lives? Anong gusto nating makuha if we were given a chance? Sino-sino yung mga taong mahalaga sa atin? Ano nga ba yung pinapahalagahan natin? This quarantine made us realize many lessons and questions in our life. The pandemic forces us to confront brutal truth. If we know who and what we love, how come we have spent so little of our lives doing these things? The COVID-19 pandemic teaches us the importance of liberty. The liberty to travel, be with those we love, and live in dignity and protection both in ourselves and from those people around us from our loved ones to refugees and the oppressed COVID-19 has the potential to spread via population transmission by remaining at home and following the guidance of the professionals you will break the chain of transmission masks alone are inadequate security additionally to combat coronavirus, we must maintain physical distancing and frequent hand washing. Together, we will help delay the spread of COVID-19 by making concerted efforts to maintain physical distancing. Physical distancing is the most effective methods to prevent disease transmission during an epidemic. We should all contribute to the solution with patience and cooperation.